Hello again, YouTube. It's a bright Sunday afternoon here in Mumbai, and I am making another quick video on my chia farming scene till now. So um, you can see I have won four chia, and uh, well, this happened uh, somewhere around last week when I went to a friend's place. Uh, I wanted to uh, help him out uh, with uh, his chia plotter. And uh, when I came back home, I looked at uh, my farm and uh, there it was. I had four chia. Uh, I wasn't at home when I got these uh, two uh, more chias. Uh, and uh, well, I, uh, I came back home and I, w I must say I was pleasantly surprised. So moving on uh, to my plots, uh, I have about 407 plots and uh, at the moment I am uh, plotting in a staggered way. So uh, I'm using two NVMEs, uh, Gen 4 uh, Gigabyte Aorus uh, NVMEs with uh, uh, 1800 TBW and uh, out of those NVMEs um, at the moment, I think uh, one NVMe has about 72% uh, life left or, um, well, 70%, give or take. The other one uh, is a bit newer, so it uh, I can use it, uh, I think 92% of it is still left. I am not going to use these NVMe's uh, till they die, <laughs> I'm probably going to stop at uh, uh, when they have about 30 or 40 percent uh, juice left and I will use them as uh, some uh, gaming NVMe so uh, in that NVMe I'll probably store my games and run it off of the NVMe so um, uh, that's how I'm plotting uh, three plots each on uh, two NVMe's and of course for the operating system I have a completely different NVMe on which I am not plotting. I don't want to plot on that NVMe. So uh, uh, the plots, they are staggered. Uh, some of these plots, you know, uh, the moment uh, till they cross 31%, that is when you're actually using all the cores that you have assigned uh, to create that plot uh, on the CPU side. Uh, so uh, three of those, uh, three or four of these plots, uh, they are currently using the CPU and uh, some of it is not some of it is only using one thread so um, and the two NVMEs you can see here are chugging away so um, all the small uh, crests that you see on all these uh, hard drives these are basically the uh, you know chia plots which are hitting the filter but uh, uh, some of them might have a proof they uh, well that that's that's how you win chia if you if you find a proof um, and well I'm just waiting for uh, <laughs> more luck to come my way uh, now that is regarding the plotting scene regarding the hard drive scene so uh, going over to hard drives I uh, have uh, a couple of uh, 16 terabyte uh, Seagate expansions which are uh, which are ordered on 4th of May, but uh, I think Amazon is going to deliver them on or before 15th of June. So, uh, and yeah, that's uh, those are fully prepaid. I've already paid for them uh, and I'll probably receive them next month. In the meantime, um, my 16 terabyte Seagate expansion is completely full to the brim. Uh, I have about three terabytes and three terabytes left here, which I am still plotting on. And the internal ones, well, they're just uh, <laughs> done for. Uh, th th there's no space uh, uh, left there. So total 407 plots. I think I will continue plotting till official uh, uh, pools come out. I am never going to go for <laughs> edge pool. Uh, I think... Um, uh, people who have gone for edge pool might be in for a very shocking surprise the moment uh, official uh, uh, pooling comes in because uh, I think uh, there will be there, there will definitely be some issues with the uh, private keys uh, because your pooling plots and your uh, solo plots uh, they don't uh, 
they are they are going to be different plots altogether. So yeah, that's about uh, Chia. Uh, now moving over to Nice Hash. Well, uh, I have said bye bye goodbye to Nice Hash. I no longer use Nice Hash. Uh, when I was just mining on uh, one or two GPUs, NiceHash was, uh, you know, good. It made sense. But now, um, uh, I think it is time to... Uh, I, 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 I figured out that it is time to get out of NiceHash uh, the moment they had this issue with uh, withdrawals, uh, with Coinbase withdrawals. And now it turns out that uh, the issue was not from uh, the Coinbase front, but NiceHash, uh, of course... Uh, was not able to pay out on time so what i did is i went for ethermine <coughs> uh, i have this little 1650 colorful chinese 1650 uh, <laughs> which is chugging away at uh, ravencoin using cow pow so that's doing about 9.9 .9, uh, raven per day uh, that's uh, over a month about 302 raven coin and uh, I'm I'm happy with that. About 7.5 mega hash on the 1650. Uh, moving on to uh, the main, uh, uh, you know, the main coin that I'm uh, uh, mining is Ethereum. So with Ethereum, uh, I'm doing about 220, currently 203 mega hash because we are recording this video. Um, there is uh, T-Rex Miner which is mining on this main system as well it's giving about 62 mega hash with the video it's at about 58 mega hash and uh, on this rig we have two rtx 3070 tough gaming uh, which are giving about 62 mega hash each and a zotac rtx 2060 super with 44 mega hash so i find that the overclocks are much better uh, with uh, directly using ethermine and t-rex miner rather than going with ni nice hash because it's the same graphics card. With NiceHash, if I would go with this kind of an OC, uh, 1275 on the memory or something, uh, NiceHash would uh, come up with a lot of stale shares, a lot of rejected shares. There's no such issue with uh, uh, Ethermine. And also the uh, ping times, the TTLs that you can see here, uh, are far better. Uh, uh, like for example, if you uh, look at uh, even uh, Raven, the Ravencoin pool, uh, uh, which is Raven uh, Raven pool, uh, or I should say Ethermine pool uh, for Ravencoin, that is uh, at 68 milliseconds. So uh, uh, not only is it uh, faster, it's also better, and uh, it pays you 15 percent, 10 to 15 percent uh, more, and you're mining uh, the coin directly rather than going through a third party uh, so yeah those are some big changes that I did uh, uh, or I should say big changes for me for uh, uh, for uh, uh, someone who is not into the mining scene for really long but uh, I think I'm gonna stick to Ethermine and uh, also to Flypool for Ravencoin yeah Flypool that's what it's called uh, from now on so it's goodbye nice ash it was good while it lasted but uh, I don't want BTC anymore. Um, I'll be looking uh, at uh, Ravencoin and Ethereum in the future. And uh, of course, uh, Chia, well, it's uh, turned out uh, so far so good for Chia uh, is okay. And uh, yeah, today is Sunday. I don't usually have a lot of time during the weekdays because I have a job to take care of uh, and uh, well thank you so much guys for your support uh, it's uh, really good to see uh, so many people coming out and uh, liking my videos uh, I don't even have a proper microphone or uh, a proper uh, camera at the moment so that's why uh, I'm just recording uh, over screen share uh, hopefully if I make some uh, uh, good chump change out of it. <laughs> I will invest in uh, um, a, a microphone and uh, a camera. So yeah, that's it uh, from my side, guys. I wish you all the best in your chia farming uh, and uh, have an excellent day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.